What's happening, people? It's the homie Smith the 400, one half of Straight Off the Ave, and this is Smith the Reacts, you know what I'm saying? Um, I wasn't going to do another video like this in this format, you feel me? Um, I'm going to uh, transition to a live format, but um, it's just too much going on, man, and I can't be I, I can't be behind the curve. So what we about to get into is the homie Gene Deal, man. Once again, Gene Deal is back at it talking about some madness he has some new revelations allegedly you know what i'm saying so we're gonna get into this um gene deal art of the dialogue talking about uh diddy mixing pills to spike cranberry juice crazy let's get into it people When you was working for Diddy, right, how did he treat the people that was working for him? It depends on who it was. If you were a type of person that come a dime a dozen, you got treated like shit. If you was a type of person that he needed you, he treated you like shit. If you was the type of person that he wanted you, he'll get you, and then he'll treat you like sh <laughs> There seems to be a pattern here. <laughs> if he wasn't fifth, if he wasn't fearful of you to a certain degree, he didn't give a shit how he treated certain people. Like Heavy D used to have to pull him to the side because somebody or give Heavy a call, and I don't know what. I still don't know today, and God bless the dead. I don't know what power Heavy D had over him, but Heavy D could come to his office. Heavy D could come to his house, because when Heavy came to the city, and Puff had the, a park, the, the, the building on 74th and Park Avenue, Heavy would stay in Puff building. But Heavy was the one, like, come here, let me talk to you. And he would come right there. No back talk, no nothing. I don't know what power heavy he had on him, but he would never talk back or say no kind of crazy shit to heavy. That's interesting. Maybe it's respect. Maybe it's a handler. I ain't gonna get into that. That's some that's some other shit. Let's keep it going. <laughs> so other people they ain't give a fuck about them. Right, right. So he never came at Heavy D crazy. But I want to go back to this lawsuit, right, by Cassie. She claims that, you know, she hid out at a friend house in Florida after, you know, Diddy put hands on her. And she said that she was tracked down by a guy named James Cruz, the president of Bad Boy Management. You know anything about that? James Cruz and Harpier always been Diddy's flunkies. Harf Pierre is also named in all this bull that's going on as well. So that's interesting that he would note that, that you know what I'm saying, he would mention that guy, <coughs> Harf Pierre. Being that, you know, <coughs> excuse me, let's get it. Especially Harf Pierre. That's why he's being sued right now, too, by one of his assistants and stuff like that. Because I guess he learned from his boss. You see what I'm saying? I don't know what it is with my intuition, but I be on point. I got to hit this every time. <laughs> Let's get it, man. <clears throat> but James Cruz used to work for 50. But he worked for Diddy first. So the niggas was always scum buckets, man. Right, right. But speaking of Harvey Pierre, how do you feel about him getting accused of sexual assault? Uh, like I said, anything that has to do with those sexual assaults, those people have to prove that. But is it are they capable? Yeah, they're capable. Look at the atmosphere. They're in the music industry. They're in the music business. They set up those type of, uh, uh, they, they learn the tricks of the trade. That's the truth. The music industry is very, 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 very weird. 
to say the least. To put it very simply, it's weird. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot of weirdness that goes on. You know? For real. For instance, guys don't put those pills that they get to the girls in the champagne bottles because they popping them in front of them. Most of those girls, especially if they like mixed drinks, you understand, they see the bottles when they open them and they trying to keep their eyes on because they don't want to get no kind of drugs put in their system. But what they don't understand is in the orange juice and it's in the cranberry juice. They didn't put the pills and the stuff in there, the roofies, the ecstasy, the ease, all, whatever they, they put it in the juice. Now, those girls who like the mixed drinks, you understand what I'm saying? They gonna pour their own. They think because they pour in their own that they safe, but they not safe. That's sinister. This is crazy, bro. Sexual act. Because they don't understand it ain't in the bottles. It's in the juice. Those guys, they learn that. And they put it. Even if you try to be like, nah, I'm, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm cool. Let me get the orange juice. Crazy, bro. To those girls who don't know no better. Man, look, that right there is craziness, man. Like, look at now. All this is alleged. This is all alleged. You feel me? But at the same time, with like I said, man, it's just getting it's it's just getting real spooky and real spicy out here for the homie Diddy, man. <laughs> It is not looking good at all because, man, people out here with, you know, evidence of sorts, apparently, you feel me? So, man, but yeah, man, this has been Smith's the Reacts. Like I said, um, the format is going to change a little bit. I'm going to start doing live reactions. So that you guys can kind of chime in and kind of like, you know, if there's anything that you might have caught on your timeline that I didn't catch, you can send it to me and I can react to it. Um, as well as, you know, just interact with y'all, period, while I'm reacting. You feel what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, that's going to be something that I do frequently, regularly, regularly. <laughs> So yeah, man, look <clears throat> look forward to that. It's Mr. Reacts live show. You know what I'm saying? And on Saturdays, you know what I'm saying? We're trying to do the straight off the Av show with my co-host, Mr. Dubbins. And you know, that's gonna be special. You feel me? And um, I already got a couple guests that then hit me. I'ma plug them in, you feel me? And um, we're gonna make it happen. So like, share, comment, and subscribe. Excuse me. And uh, yeah, man, tell me what you think about this. Let's have a conversation. Owie.